Students will return to the classroom in just a matter of weeks, but for school districts all across the Commonwealth, they're facing a big issue. Many are still short on school bus drivers, and multiple districts say it's a growing problem. Grace Feinerman explains why. With about a month until back to school, it seems too many bus driver seats are still empty. For the past several years, um, it's been a challenge for us to, to, uh, to recruit and retain and hire the number of drivers that we would ideally want. Garrett Wells, Director of Staff and Student Services for Woodford County Schools, has worked for the district for over a decade. In that time period, he says the bus driver shortage has continued to grow. Wells says the district has had to combine routes. Some schools have even had to adjust starting or ending times. Public schools, private sector employers, I mean, we are all uh, facing some of the same challenges with, uh, with our labor force, and so trying to recruit and retain is just a challenge in general, not just for schools, but for, for other employers as well. It's an issue that's crossing county lines. When we talk about uh, having, a, having those open spots, that, that literally is uh, us having to fill in with uh, uh, a mechanic or, or even uh, myself. Matthew Simpson, interim director of transportation for Jessamine County Schools, says there are currently seven drivers short. All for a position Simpson says can make a difference. Often when we think of people working in schools that make big impacts on our kids, we think about teachers and principals and of course many of them do, but people working in school districts throughout the Commonwealth say bus drivers are the first people to see students in the morning and the last to see them in the afternoon. Clearly a way that folks can impact their community, uh, they can invest in the next generation. Grace Feinerman for the Fox 56 10 o'clock news. Wells says in Woodford County, the bus driver shortage is not as bad this year. That's because last year everyone was still learning about how to deal with the pandemic.